Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And we have finally finished the URC round group stages um, with the final round 18 matches taking place this past weekend. Quarterfinals are locked in. Champions Cup places are more or less locked in. And we now progress to the business end, the knockouts, the do or die few weeks. Because in three weeks time, we will be crowning maybe a new uh, or maybe a former URC champion. Just two teams who have won the competition before, and both of them through one with a home semi, a home quarter, a home semi, potentially even a home final. The other one will be traveling for the majority of these playoff games unless results really go a different way to what we potentially expect them to do. Uh, before we look at the results, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? It all started on Friday night when a Leinster side, which was rotated, um, it didn't have a lot of the, the usual sort of Irish stars who were basically given the week off and they'll all be coming back in this weekend. Um, hammered Connacht 33 points to seven, a game which, you know, you looked at the teams threatened to maybe be a bit closer, but showed you the quality and depth that Leinster have. However, they have almost sort of stuffed up a bit because they did lose a few games, which has, which, which, which has meant that they've slipped down and finished in third place. So they won't be happy about that. Um, almost. Um, uh, being put over here, or Zebra um, reducing a decent effort here, was Glasgow Warriors 38 points, 26 win over Zebra. Uh, a lot probably a lot closer than the Glasgow Warriors would have would have hoped, um, but they got the job done in the end. Uh, the biggest frustration of the weekend, especially as a Lions fan, is the 29 24 points loss. Lions um, didn't back themselves, if, if I can put it that way. Um, play conservatively, they played against 14 men for half an hour. Or 20 minutes odd, um, and didn't get uh, to, couldn't manage to to see off the Stormers. Um, it was an interesting game where kind of they just traded blows. You know, one team was scoring, the other team would respond, and it was only the Lions actually who eventually went, um, you know, try and then a penalty with the first team sort of score consecutively. They weren't brave enough uh, in terms of trying to get that four point bonus point. They needed another two tries. They had opportunities. They tried to take the points. They had one. They missed. Um, and they then took a three-pointer and uh, conceded a try almost immediately after the kickoff. So, you know, it's it's frustrating um, because I think the Lions played well enough this season to get into the playoffs, and to finish ninth is heartbreaking and close, especially tied ninth. Um, so, yeah, it's 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 not been a good time, and I think that they'll learn from that. They need to be a bit braver on the day, get those two at that extra point, and they would have finished. Uh, easily would have finished um, for the, uh, uh, eighth. Uh, if you look at that, uh, Benson versus Edwards is actually them doing a favor, you know, and this is the thing. Lions were actually in the playoff spot before what we get to later, the Ospreys result. So it's a good win against Benson um, at home, but they needed to clutch up and uh, a good performance for them going into the playoffs. Scarlet's beating Dragons is part of that D-Day game. Uh, a bit of a bit of a dead rubber, really. Uh, Sharks be, um, being beaten by the Bulls. Bulls getting those four, those uh, those maximum points. That uh, four try bonus point was important. Maybe not the best Bulls performance. That you know, I think the Sharks played well at stages. Bulls struggled a little bit. But I'm, I always say a mark of a team that can tend is a team that can play badly and get the result. And I don't think Bulls were firing on all cylinders. Um, and yet, you know, got the job done. Got the bonus point. Munster beating Ulster, twenty nine points, twenty four. A close game. Um, and uh, this is going to be a, a very interesting. Um, a clash for Munster who are have at times you know shown why they're potential champions but also shown that they can be pushed and, and Ulster I think could be a bit dark horse of this starting to come right a bit towards the end of the season here and then finally what a, what a result this was uh, Osprey's a bonus point win to seal a place in the playoffs ahead of the Lions uh, Cardiff you know at home last game of the season didn't quite have enough to get their couple of cards made the big difference towards the end didn't die wondering but uh, just couldn't get over the line so the final table looks a bit like this uh, Munster at the top there was 68 points. Bulls in second place, 66. Then Leinster, then Glasgow Warriors, who tied, uh, finished tied third, 65 points apiece over there. Uh, Stormers, Ulster, Benson, and Ospreys completing that top eight. As mentioned, Lions uh, finishing ninth place below Ospreys on virtue of not number of wins. Lions winning 10 ga nine games a season. Ospreys winning 10. Lions points difference uh, would have been far superior than, than every team actually outside the top four. But uh, points difference only comes into it after the number of games. Um, one so had they had they won that game um you know they got they got just the one game of a point out of that so you know had they beaten stormers with a bonus point for example um they would have sat there on 55 points but it would have been one point fewer than bench and so would have finished eighth but anyway uh the rest of it is lions uh, edinburgh right behind them conduct not too far off and then there's quite a step down from cardiff scholars sharks finishing with a woeful four wins out of 18 14 losses is, is, is pretty poor uh, another way to put it uh, 25 points there 60 points there palm unfortunately just not being able to get enough points to to finish, uh, will not to get the wooden spoon. So they do finish last, but 
were a bit more competitive this season. They did win a game, they drew a game, looked like they were going to take a step forward, then kind of took a step back. Um, and it continues to be a bit of a side that doesn't really compete often, but uh, I think a lot better this season than they were last. So the final thing is, let's have a look at the quarters, um, which have been locked in. It starts it all starts on Friday in Fulman Park, Munster hosting Osprey. Saturday, we'll see Bulls host Benetton, Leinster host Ulster, before the weekend will finish with Glasgow Warriors hosting Stormers. And for me, what will be the game of the weekend? What do you guys think? Give me your predictions for the quarterfinals. Uh, results down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the final round, as well as the group stage. I think the best group stage we've seen from the URC, and hopefully a sign of good things to come with how competitive this league truly is. So let me know what you thought down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.